you are ever in Chicago or the Chicagoland area, get some Hayamo milk tea. Get their Hayamo milk tea, like their signature one. It has a rose syrup in it and it is so good. And I wasn't quite sure the first time, like my husband told me about it and I was like, that can kind of taste like soap. Like, are we, are, is that what we want to do with our lives? But it tastes delicious and it is making my day so much better. Thank you, China. Thank you. Thank you, Taiwan, for creating milk tea. Come here, come here. Today's been kind of um, like a down day, I guess. I have, I'm really, really busy at my job and I, I'm i really excited, you know. So in 2020, I started my own business and I transitioned out of working for a company and basically hiring them on as um, my first clients and then being able to go from there and build up. I do digital marketing and things like that and Things are going well, but I am on team do too much and I've taken on so many things that now I'm actually looking for a virtual assistant. I actually kind of had a breakdown earlier I, I truly cried earlier today because I was like I have so much to do and I have so many clients and now I'm also doing like I'm a vice president of something I have things to do and I am trying to do it all myself so I don't know if you guys are like that where it's just like you have so many opportunities and you want to take them and you want to run with it and and it's like I want my my business to grow I feel I guess you could say I just feel pressure to do well and pressure to um, excel and no one is putting this pressure on me but me so I need to you know cut it out but I'm just I don't know I was really tired today I feel like and I didn't allow myself to like go take a nap I could have I could have gone to sleep I, it could have just been a thing but I was like no you know make sure this is done make sure you're taking that out oh is this clients post like where they should be and I'm up to date with everyone but my own stuff and I was just like you know my come to Jesus moment was you need help you need to learn how to ask for help and so now I am looking for a virtual assistant for a few hours a month. Um, so I'm trying to see if there's so many different packages. I want to make sure everything is in budget, but I've been kind of sad today. I feel like, I feel like I'm behind. I feel like I'm not doing enough. I feel like I'm doing too much. Um, I don't know, um, it's, I've wanted to have my own business for years and I finally had the courage in 2020 amidst everything to actually go do something for myself and believe in myself enough to, to do it. And I still had my normal nine to five the first year, all of 2020, you know, and it wasn't until the beginning of 2021 that I was able to transition and work completely for myself. And so I feel like that's such a beautiful thing and I'm really protective of that space. And there's fear there, you know, because it's all on you. Like if it fails, it's because of you. It's nobody else's fault. And, and I'm just trying to Do my best you know um, and and I know I know I'm fine I'm being emotional I'm like but I just do you guys feel like that <laughs> like, am I the only one breaking down for no reason um, I really I really want to succeed and I really am trying to transition 
out of of just doing it all myself. I'm trying to transition out of really taking on um, new clients myself because I'm just one person and I really am like, I have a course, take my marketing course, take my marketing course. It's for people who don't know what they're doing, you know? Um, so that that way I can always have, like that's my evergreen content. It's always there. It's something that's updated throughout the year that I can just like work on. But in the meantime, I'm looking for somebody to help me and I just got overwhelmed looking for someone to help me and I just said, you know what, F it, I'm done. <sighs> and now I'm ranting on camera. Okay. Oh my God. Anyways, tomorrow will be better, but tomorrow will be better. I'm feeling better than I was. I'm about to go make some breakfast. I just finished working out and um, then I'm gonna get ready and go pick up some money today. So you guys get to come with me. Hey guys, good bougie afternoon. Okay, so I waited too long and I just could not make myself leave the house. I did not want to. I completely had a grown up temper tantrum. Um, my husband looked at me like, what's wrong with you? And <laughs> I just, I realized, you know, I've been emotional and feeling like this. I'm like, my period came. That was the issue. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm over here. I went, I got ready, and then I left late. And it is the starting of rush hour in Chicago. And I said, about that, I am not going anywhere. No. So I've decided to come to Chinatown and make myself feel better and get a bubble tea. So I'm going to get some nicha. Um, the, um Probably the normal flavor I normally get, you know, the wei na cha, which is original milk tea with um, the tapioca in it. I didn't put on makeup. I don't even care. <laughs> I just, I don't care. I do not care today. So I'm gonna get some milk tea and walk around Chinatown for a little bit, and you guys can come with me because I ain't doing nothing else. So this is the newer part of Chinatown. Um, so we have old Chinatown and new Chinatown. I'm in the new part today, going to a place, my two favorite places. So up there, you guys can't really see the orange sign, it's Kung Fu milk tea. Um, but the other one down here, we will go to, which is now my new favorite one. Um, it's really, really cool and really beautiful on the inside. So I'll let you guys see more once we get there.
So I came at a good time. Usually it's super, super packed in here and you have to stand outside. A lot of times it's the line is out the door. So it's so popular. I got their um, milk tea, which is Yuenueva, but they also have like rose in it, like a rose syrup. It's really good. Um, so I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm going to get something that's going to be delicious and make me feel better. Okay, so I got my milk tea and I'm heading back to my car. I probably should have stayed and actually um, <laughs> and actually drank everything there. But you know how you're kind of in a mood of where you want to be out but you don't necessarily want to be around people? That's me. So I got my stuff. I got it mix it up it's really good it's delicious but i think i'm just going to end up going back to my car and drinking everything in there all right so i'm back in the car um i feel i feel like i want to be out and i want to be doing something but i want to be doing something relaxing so it's like if i could be laying on a couch somewhere watching Netflix, but outside, I would be in a great place. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel, uh, I don't know. Tell me if this happens to you. I consider my periods, like whenever I'm having like an emotional period, like I am right now, and a whole bunch of stuff is coming up and I feel just like crying all the time, then I'm like, okay, so you obviously haven't dealt with some things over the past month. And I didn't realize how, how I've just been going and going and how I've been telling myself, you're fine, you're fine, and like, like you're okay, but I've been setting goals for myself, right? And I haven't reached them yet. And obviously, things take time. But as an entrepreneur, you kind of feel like, am I doing it right? Do I need to pivot? Do I need to go again? Do I need to give this more time or do I need to come up with another strategy? And also like all of January, either I was sick or Ken was sick. So it's just been a lot of my body's been trying to heal. I'm also like trying to be the best business owner I can be as well as spend as much time with friends and family as I possibly can and all of this is like just a lot um it's just a lot so I'm in this place where this past week like luckily thank god you know I have gone ahead with my clients and you know I have posts like already in queue for two weeks ahead of time um, and then I, I always like have stuff ready for two weeks instead of the entire month because things might change. But I needed, I needed like last week especially because I didn't really do anything. All I wanted to do was curl up in a ball and just, you know, run away. And I'm like, what is going on with me? Like this, like that was my PMS. And now I'm on my period. I just being a woman sometimes sucks um but all this is teaching me is that i haven't been listening to myself so i need to figure out what my body is actually telling me it needs and what my emotions are telling me i need so that i can get back on track but i'm going to drink my milk tea as i drive home i am not taking the expressway at all because like at around 2 30 in chicago that's when traffic gets lit it's like mm, let's everybody be out okay i'm rambling now i'm gonna go home and i'll talk to you guys later